Philosopher? Yes. Yeah, 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 Arthur Motivational Speaker, Mr. EK, right back at you with another one. And uh, I'm gonna jump right into this one. This one is more of a dedication more than anything. I wanna dedicate this one to the victims in Texas and, and to everybody around the world because, you know, we all going through something and we also all hurt for Texas and the people who lost their lives at the school that day. One thing I want to say, man, is it's hard when we go through, you know, stuff like this, y'all. It's hard. It's a hard pill to swallow. It's even harder for the, the, the media families, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I want the people in Texas and, and, and those family members and the people out there to let them know that everybody across the world, we, we hurt for you guys. We Our, our hearts, you know, are, are hurt for you guys right now. And uh, we're all praying for you guys. But I want everybody to know especially like the victims or just anybody going through something. You know, like this past couple of weeks, I haven't been on because uh, saying we lost two close friends of ours, you know what I'm saying, this past week or so. So, you know, uh, I know what it is to go through some things. I don't know what it is like to lose a child. I just want to say, man, I know it's hard, man, when you lose somebody, homie. And I know it's hard when we go through times like this and people had these moments, you know what I mean? like. You know, people right now are thinking, man, it ain't no such thing as a God. You know what I mean? When things like this happen, it makes a lot of us say that. You know what I mean? If it's such thing as a God, why did this happen? Uh, what you got to know, man, is, is God is there, man. And then when things like this happen, you got to understand, like, I've said this before, you know, people stray from the flock all the time. We all know right from wrong. And he can't control the people who don't want to do right. And that's just what it is. You know what I mean? The, the people who want to go the other way with their lives are mystic. That don't really, that doesn't have anything to do with God. You gotta understand that. He has no control over these people who don't have the words, you know what I mean? People who don't believe, you know what I'm saying? So I just wanna to say to the people out there, all the victims out there, or just everybody going through something, man. I know times get hard, but you gotta know that God is really there, homie. You really do exist, homie. And you know what I'm saying? He's brought us this far, you know what I mean? He bring us this far just to drop us, you know what I'm saying? So it's a really traumatic thing, you know, that's happened with the kids and, and stuff like that, but and, and sad to say this is going to keep happening, you know what I mean? And that's why I said you can't, it's certain things you're just not supposed to do. Certain things you're not supposed to put in the game because there's always going to be somebody who tries to copycat it or do it better or certain things you just ain't supposed to do, especially if it's on the negative side, you know. So uh, I just want to say to everybody out there, man, everybody going through something, you know, keep your head up, stay positive, know that God really do exist, homie. And don't get to a bad part in your life where you like he don't, you don't believe in him and this, this, that, and other. Because when you was at the casino winning some money, or when you got some unexpected good news, you was thanking God then, but you gotta thank him during all the times, you know what I'm saying? During the good and the bad, because it's a method to his madness, believe it or not. Believe it or not, it is. So I just want everybody to know that, you know, God, God is real, man, and, and don't let hard times, don't make these hard times make you believe less or have less faith in. This ain't the most motivating this blog or whatever, but I really wanted to, you know, say something to Texas and say something to everybody in the world, man, because we all gonna go through some hard times, man, but don't let it get you to the point where you're like, man, there ain't no such thing as a God. Don't let it get you to that point, man, because like I said, these people who are making these mistakes and doing some of these things, you know what I mean? That them, those people don't believe in God, you know? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it like this, you know what I mean? They, he don't have nothing to do with them people, you know, in my opinion. And, you know, I might be saying it wrong. I hope I ain't, nobody's taking this as disrespect. You know, I know people take their religious serious, you know what I mean? And believe in God serious, and I do too. So I gotta watch what I'm gonna say, but you know, scary thing, man. And that's why everybody in the world gotta be nice to each other, treat everybody with respect. You know what I mean? And love each other straight up. You know what I mean? So you can kind of see when some of these things are going to happen. You know what I mean? Because this might not be that young dude's first mistake. You know, he might have some kind of mental issues. I don't know. I didn't try to do no background on him or anything like that. I'm just, you know, like I said, I'm here to speak up on God. When things like this happen, homie, you got to turn to him. How else you think you're going to get through, through these situations? You know what I'm saying? 
especially when somebody passes. You know, those are some of the hardest times for surviving family members. You know what I mean? When they got to bury a loved one. You know, in the beginning, it's real nice. Everybody comes over. You know, people like to bring food and they do whatever they can. But after a while, that all fades out. Everybody has to go back to their life. And the victims, the surviving victims, have to still, you know, it's still going down for them. You know what I mean? They're still going through it's still fresh in their mind, you know what I'm saying? So, everybody gotta, you know, like I said, love each other out there, man, and just be safe, man, be good to each other, you know? You got a problem with somebody, get your ass away from them, homie, you know what I mean? Plain and simple, straight up, you know what I mean? It, it, the world is hard enough, homie. The world is hard enough, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no need to looking for shit, cause it's gonna come fast enough, homie. Believe that. You know what I'm saying? But bottom line, like I said, uh, this vlog was just a dedication to Texas real quick and uh, the victims out there and, and everybody in the world going through something, homie. You know what I mean? This is to get, this is dedicated to y'all. You know what I'm saying? If you're going through a hard time right now where you like, man, ain't no such thing as a God or whatever. Man, you got to know that it is a such thing as a, but you got to have stronger faith, homie. You can't, I've been believing in you for about two days or two weeks now, shit ain't changed. It, it's not, that's not how it goes down, you know what I mean? And this is a forever thing, you know what I mean? If you're going to make the choice in believing in God, know it's a forever thing, man. Don't, don't try to put a time limit on it. Well, I'm going to give it a year and see if my life changes. You know, it just, it don't work like that, homie. You know what I'm saying? You got to really mean it. And like I say all the time, man, you got to believe that you believe that you believe that you believe. You know what I'm saying? So... I just want to say that real quick, y'all. I love y'all, man. Thanks for uh, checking this one out. This was just a short one. Like I said, it was more to, it was more of a dedication to anything. You know what I'm saying? And I'm dedicating this to my nigga Teddy Ted and my nigga Stevie Bobo. I love both y'all, man. Love y'all, man. Love y'all. And I'm so sorry. So sorry. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, everybody out there, be safe, man. Life is too short, homie. Because no matter how long you live it, I don't care if you live it to be 80 to be a hundred, this whole thing still only seems like it lasts five minutes. You know what I'm saying? So, I love y'all like I tell you every time, man. Make sure you check out the uh, Mac Lessons and Stories with EK. Uh, next episode should be dropping tonight or by early tomorrow morning. But uh, everybody who's been checking that out, thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. But, you know, I love y'all, man. And, and be safe out there, man. And, 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 and don't let your faith get weak when you run into a wall or because something ain't going your way, man. God just... He got, a, he got a certain time of how he does things, you know what I'm saying? And it's a method to his madness, and you got to just have that faith, you know what I mean? Like I said, it's not about believing in him 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 2 weeks, a month, and expecting some change. It just it's, That's not how it goes down. You shouldn't be trying to time it anyway. This is just it's a whole lifestyle and, 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 and decision that's for life, you know what I mean? When you decide you want to believe and have some faith, this is a for life. You know what I'm saying? Choice. It ain't It ain't about, I'm going to start believing until I get the next car or until I come up out of this situation or whatever. You know what I mean? You got to believe through all times, through all weathers, you know what I'm saying? Through all the storms and even, you know, good and bad times. So, I mean, he's there, I'm telling you. You just can't blame him when something like this happens or say it ain't no such thing as a God every time something go wrong. You know what I mean? Especially when somebody is responsible for the wrong doing. You just got to know, man, God don't have nothing to do with those people, man. He don't have nothing to do with those people. They chose to go that way. You know what I mean? So, because if they was going his way, they wouldn't have made the choice they made. But anyway, I'm going to catch y'all next week with another positive one. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all. Be good to each other. Like I said, check me out tonight. Max Stories and Lessons with EK. And uh, catch you next week.